everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the Teach Better Today morning show where the Teach Better team gets to join you live every single morning, Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern. We've been doing this all the way since August and even, even time before, bringing good information to you in the morning to start your daily routine. We are currently streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and LinkedIn, as well as, of course, if you're listening over on the Teach Better Talk podcast, we have a family member here with us. I would love to say that like, I think of her as an edu celebrity, but she's also been in our Teach Better family for such a long period of time. She's a massive leader in our community, somebody who's not only involved in just the general Teach Better family, but also our ambassador network. She's doing incredible things in science. I cannot wait for us to have this conversation with the one and only Holly Stewart. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, good morning. We are here with Holly Stewart. Holly, how are you feeling this morning? I am great getting to start off my day with you. You know, I mean, it just makes everything wonderful. So I love it. I love it. Obviously, like having people on the show is a highlight, but when they're people that you, I like actually know and feel like I'm friends with, it's really enjoyable. So I feel like I can sit back and relax on this one because you've been a part of the Teach Better family forever. I love that so many of our educators here popping in are already going to be like, oh my God, it's Holly supporting you. You're a huge part of our ambassador network. So this is like having family in town. I love this. Holly, if for our community who may not be connected to you yet, even if they are connected, but don't know everything about you, Tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do in education. I don't know how you're going to list it all because you do a lot. So good luck. I'll fill in the gaps. You do what you remember, and then I'll be like, oh, you forgot these 12 things. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Um, no, my name's Holly Stewart, and I am uh, currently, I'm the education specialist for Foldscope Instruments, which is a company that uh, makes low cost but high quality scientific equipment for classrooms um, and for the public at large too. I mean, obviously one of our big missions is to get scientific tools into the hands of as many people as we can. Um, and the best way to do that is through schools. Um, but I do come to that company from uh, education background. So I taught eighth grade science uh, for quite some time. Yes, middle school. That's where my heart is. I love my middle <laughs> school people. It's a yes. special dream. <laughs> it is. It's, and it's one of those things, too, where people are either like, you know, all in on middle school or like, no, 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 I can't handle it. But for me, that was the and especially eighth grade. That was just that was a special it's a special group right there. Yeah, we had a, a member of our community on yesterday for the show and she was talking about elementary. I was like, how people feel about teaching middle school is how I feel about early elementary. Like, <laughs> leave it to somebody better. Leave it to somebody more equipped. It's not for me, but middle school, sign me up. Sarcasm, smelly kids, sign me right. up. <laughs> right. Especially love the sarcasm. That's always good. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Well, Holly, yeah. you've been a part of our community. You were an educator in the classroom, a part of our network. Then you moved into this role and it's been so interesting for me watching you in this space because you appear, I don't want to put words in your mouth, to be working for just like a really cool organization that is doing good things for education, not just like trying to sell something. Like this, mm -hmm. this episode's not about selling anything, but people on Facebook post about this, this product all the time because it's such an easy but innovative element to use. Can you talk to us a little bit about what a fold scope is. It's so mysterious. Yes. Yes. So I've, I've actually, I've got, we've got um, some new products. Uh, so I will tell you what a fold scope is. It is a paper microscope. And okay. That sentence, that yeah. sentence <laughs> does not make sense. We have to backtrack. I'm sorry. In case you are listening in your car and you feel like you must have misunderstood. She said a paper microscope. I just want to make yes. Sure. Yes. So it is a fully functional microscope, but it is something that you can actually put in your pocket. 
Um, you can take it with you anywhere. And it, it really is. It, you can see I'm bending it. For those of you that are watching, I'm bending this back and forth. It's made of paper. Um, but it's a it's a microscope, and it was it was something that was developed um, as a way to you know we always talk about access and equity within the company for science education especially, um, and it was developed to be able to uh, get scientific tools into the hands of people that you know don't necessarily have all the resources to go out and buy lab bench style microscopes for every student in their classroom. Of you know. Course. And we know that um, part of what, you know, what gets people excited about, interested in science in the first place is that excitement and that discover that element of discovery when you're doing something hands on. And if we can get more kids, you know, in elementary schools, getting hands on experiences with microscopes before it gets, you know, quote, scary, then you know, we're just, we're setting more people up for success, not necessarily that everyone will go into the sciences, but at least that they know that that is an avenue that is accessible to them, but it, whereas it wouldn't have been before, you know? Yeah. And I know that we're going to get into some really good education talk here, but I have to say, this is what I want to get for like my friends, kids for birthday presents. Like yes. <laughs> to me, I understand this goes in schools. We'll talk about that in a minute. But like, for me, this is a really cool item to just like give any kid and oh, yeah. like as a gift, because it's such a, str I just think it's such a strange concept. I still am thinking about the microscopes. I was a you know, science, uh, undergrad, I, I worked so much with microscopes and they're so heavy and bulky. Mm -hmm. And I, I just can't even imagine what this would be like being able to hand like an eight year old, this gift and being able to teach them how to use it. It just sounds so foreign to me. So I know for many people listening, they're going to be like, what's the deal? I think this lady's crazy. <laughs> Well, I might be, but <laughs> the product is still a great product. <laughs> I mean, it's the I mean, it's early in the morning, guys. Don't fault us for our fault. <laughs> but what I like about this also is like you have the science background. So you, mm -hmm. when you were in education, I know you, you were a very passionate teacher. You weren't looking to leave the field. You loved your job. You loved your eighth grade students. You loved teaching science and you're nerdy that way. I love that. And if you moved into this role, it really must have been something that excited you mm -hmm. and and got you passionate about what you were already trying to make happen in the world, which was people understand science better. So if you were reflecting on that transition and where you are now, what pulled you into this being, you know, the the move for you? Yeah, it was honestly the thing that made this such an easy transition. And, you know, obviously easy is a relative term, but, sure. you know, compared to completely changing, you know, I said changed careers. Yeah. But what made it easy for me was I didn't have to change like my core values and mission in education and, you know, what I truly believe in by joining this company. So it was it's a company that already shares my beliefs. And, you know, when we have our our group meetings and everything like that. And we're talking about the different things that we're seeing out there with the ways that people are using this product. It's just, it's so inspiring. And it just made that transition, just a, a smooth transition, you know, cause it was, I'm still in the world of education. Sure. So I, you know, I get to work with teachers and, you know, teaching them how to use this and how to, you know, effectively use this in the classroom. And then I'm also, I do get to work with students because we do, you know, when we're working on product development and things like that, I get to test some of the stuff out with students and everything and see how they are using it. So I still get my, my fix of being able to be in a classroom, um, but I'm able to do this now on a global scale rather than, you know, the, the classroom setting that I was in before. So it just, it took the you know, and it really has opened my eyes to all the different possibilities that are out there for this. So it's, it's been a, it's been a great transition. Yeah. I'm trying to think it's March. So I don't know what gift season, my birthday was yesterday. So like, this would be a good birthday gift. I'm thinking. There you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it's good. So this would have been like a good birthday gift for any kid. If you have a birthday coming up, mm -hmm. I feel like this could be a cool thing to like give students. Okay. I'm kind of, you tell me, Holly, could I use this with students during testing over like April, March testing season? 
I always mm-hmm. feel like they're, they're we're just giving students like filler activities, like coloring pages. I cannot yeah. tell you how many crossword puzzles I used to give students. Maybe this is something that during that quiet time, but they're finished testing in between when we're able to actually do stuff. Could they explore with this tool? Like, is this something you could bring in just to have students kind of play with to see what comes of it? I, tell us how to mm-hmm. use this. Yeah, it's, so it's really, so just going back to what you were saying about the gift or whatever. So one of the things that we've got, we have another one, another type of microscope, it's called a mini. So it's the Foldscope Mini. And it literally, so you see this one where even though it doesn't look like a microscope, there's still a lot of parts to it. The Mini, it literally, when you get it, it is a single piece of, you know, waterproof paper. And all you have to do which I just, I love this, you fold it and you have just assembled a microscope. So this is a fully functional microscope. You put your sample in here and then you can just look through it and you can see, you know, the plant cells, you can see, you know, flower petals, you can see pollen, you can see insect parts, whatever you want in here. So you absolutely can use this for like, just set one of these at each desk yeah. And I mean, you can just you can take like some of the things that I've seen people do is just, you know, take a piece of tape and just put it on a surface and then pick it up. And then you've got something on there and then you can stick that in here and you can look at it. Oh, my so, God. Like kind of gross and great. They could be like, right? let's look at all the bacteria <laughs> on our desks. <laughs> I know. I did. Uh, I wrote a blog last year around springtime because it was all about spring cleaning. And it was one of those things where I was like, you know, I'm going to see what's in my windowsills. And so I did that same thing with that. And I, after I wrote that blog, I did a lot of cleaning. (laughs) I'm just saying like, obviously this would be a good Christmas gift, but I just feel Mm -hmm. like, again, I'm not trying to push this testing thing, but testing season is really hard for me as an educator. Mm -hmm. I just find it to be so boring. Not the part of education I like. So if Mm -hmm. I could like treat my students. I know sometimes we do like Jolly Ranchers on the table and all that, but if you could put like one of those on a table and be like, okay, after testing, here are the only directions you need. Just like quietly explore, maybe even give them a a place to like doodle. There's so many cool things that can come from that. And it's quiet if you need it to be quiet. Like obviously collaboration would be great, but that, Mm -hmm. that would be like an easy like activity for them, which is, yeah, it would. And, you know, we sell them as classroom sets or you can buy individual ones. So yeah, you could buy a whole, you can buy a set of 20, you know, and then you could just pass them out to everybody. Or if you wanted, like you were saying about your individual, the gifts or whatever, we do sell them as like a kit, like an individual one. So this is an explorer kit Mm -hmm. that, you know, if you wanted that as your gift and then you open it up, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see everything, but there's a whole, there's basically like a little microscopy lab in this, you know, in this kit. And this is what the, uh, the fold scope comes in there too. So obviously yeah. you're getting the fold scope too. <laughs> I think it's so cool. And I, you know, I love being like the ant, the best ant of all time to all my yeah. friends, kids. And I, I'm always looking for little things, right? Mm-hmm. Things that I can bring when I visit, not necessarily any specific reason for gifts, but just, you know, I'm visiting. So here I brought something for the kids and Mm -hmm. this could be a really, I can't believe I haven't done this yet. This is like a perfect thing to hand and they're all different ages. So I feel like this is because the mini comes in a little kit too. So you can get the the mini. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God, Holly. Okay. I could nerd out about this because it's true. I'm interested in (laughs) But we're going to transition to team talk. I want to talk about your blog because I know it relates to this information, but also just you as an educator trying to share information with our community and all that good stuff. So we're going to move on to our team talk. But if you want to learn more about the Fold Scope, we'll absolutely have resources for you and we can all kind of nerd out together. We'll be right back.
Thanks for sticking with us. We're here at the Teach Better Today morning show. Holly Stewart is in the house, and we're getting into her fancy schmancy blog that I love to go connect with and send educators to. I know that there's been a lot we've already shared, especially related to the fold scope. And I'm kind of like nerding out and using this as my own therapy session. But I'm very, very excited for you all to see the innovation happening in the field and the opportunities that we have to just expose students to things outside of a textbook. There's so many cool things here. So, Holly, I know that we could talk about the fold scope for like hours and hours longer. <laughs> uh, I love again, I said it earlier, but I love when it pops up on Facebook and, you know, kids are exploring and parents are enjoying it. So lots of cool stuff there that will direct our community to tell us a little bit about your blog. You mentioned earlier that you blog. I also know personally, because I see the post coming through, you love to share information with educators. Tell us a little bit about that element of your life. Yeah. So, and honestly, the whole blogging thing, I think it really started when I was still in the classroom and I was yeah. blogging for Teach Better. Yeah. Um, and I had the the Science Better series that, um, that I was writing. And I just really enjoyed being able to just take some aspect of what I was doing in my classroom and being able to share it, you know, and seeing the responses and getting ideas from other educators based on what they saw me writing about. So when I transitioned to Foldscope, you know, the natural thing for me was to continue blogging. So I actually have two different um, blogs that I do for Foldscope. One is called, uh, well, the, for educators, since we're here on, uh, you know, Teach Better, um, it's called Foldscope in the Classroom. So it is a blog that is written so that a teacher could look through this. It's got, you know, written like a lesson plan. So it has all the materials you need, your procedure. And the thing that was really important to me, like I told you at the beginning of this, when we first started that equity and access are big parts of, you know, my mission and the company's mission. But when we talk about access, it's, I think that there's more than just like those financial barriers that we have to get over. We have, a lot of people have, and you know this from your math background, there's that emotional barrier to science and math that it's scary, it's hard, and it, you know, and it tends to shut some people down. And when I'm talking about, you know, removing barriers to access, that's a big one for me. So I want to make sure that the the lessons that I'm writing about and the things that I'm writing in my other blog, Hub Fold Scope Explores are just ways to have fun using a microscope. And it's not necessarily in your traditional um, your traditional way when it's, you know, here's your lab and you're learning about the parts of the cell, you know, which those are important things, but I want people to see that there's more. And especially like I was saying, you know, with the younger ages and just getting people excited about it. So I'm very big on interdisciplinary lessons. Um, arts integration is huge, you know, bringing the arts into a lot. Like if you look at a lot of the pictures that go with my blogs, I mean, they are beautiful pictures, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying it because I'm the one who took them. I'm saying like they really like the, the microscopic world truly is a beautiful place. And the more that people can see that and experience it for themselves, the less intimidating and scary it is. And the more that they want to keep exploring, well, what would it look like this way? What would it look like if I did this? You know, and just being able to write about that and let people see it again. And I'm a real person, you know, my background, my background is not in biology. So I, I'm learning a lot of this stuff right along with the readers of the blog, <laughs> you know? So, but it really is just about, how can we make this more fun and, you know, less intimidating, bring in the arts, mix up the different, you know, subjects. It doesn't have to be science in a silo. Let's just have fun using microscopes and see what's out there. Mm, what an easy thing for an educator to pull up either with students to kind of look at what is happening in the world or for them to be reading, you know, in downtime when your feet are up on the couch and you have your warm tea or an adult beverage, and you're just kind of like scrolling through the cool things happening in the world, this would be a really interesting element to look into. And it doesn't mean you have to take action right now with it, but just educating your mind with some other elements that are happening that are accessible to your students when you're ready for it, which is exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then I know that you're blogging all other places as well. I know there's other pieces of your work. Obviously, you blogged to Teach Better previously. Anything else you want to chat out? 
Um, really, the two big ones are the the ones that I'm doing now for for Foldscope, the Perfect. Scope Explorers. So the Foldscope in the classroom, like I said, is more of a lesson plan. Foldscope is Explorers is truly just. I found this random thing and I want to look at it under a fold scope. <laughs> oh, see, I think that's so neat. <laughs> yeah. And it really, you know, and it depends on what's going on. I mean, back in February, because with Valentine's Day, there was a lot of, you know, a lot of red things. You know, you've got roses, you've got, you know, the imagery of hearts and things like that. So I just explored some things that were red underneath the fold scope. And the pictures were like, it was very surprising to me too. Like you would think that, oh, I know exact, you know, kind of what to expect. No, <laughs> it was like, whoa, I wasn't expecting to see that under there. It was really cool. That's so <laughs> neat. Yeah, I'm excited for you all to check out those two blogs that exist over with the fold scope information. That is just such an easy way for you to explore what this could look like and some of the innovations that your students might discover as well as they explore. Holly, would you mind sharing um, your contact information, fold scopes information? So if an educator wants to go look into this for their school or they're just looking for, you know, a fun, fun gift to bring to a family member <laughs> at some point within the next few weeks, they're able to get access to that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can always reach me. Um, my email is holly at foldscope.com. Um, and so any questions fold scope related, shoot them my way. I'd be happy to happy to talk. Um, and then you can follow me on uh, Twitter and it, my handle is up there. It's Holly A. Stewart. Just remember that I'm the U.A.R.T. version of Stewart. Um, and, you know, I post, uh, you know, just random pictures that I've taken and everything like that. And a lot of education related things are on my my Twitter feed. Um, but those are the two best ways to reach out to me. And, you know, and if you are interested, I do want to also mention that, like, there are so many resources that Foldscope has that are free. Um, I know that you guys are, you know, we're, we're big on, let's see how we can, you know, save that money, right? But, yeah, absolutely. You know, save your coffee money. Yes. <laughs> so the, you know, the blogs, there's um, videos. So if you're unsure how to use it, there are videos that you can access on our YouTube channel. Um, we've got, uh, you know, training, you know, there's like the, the FAQs and all that stuff that's on there. Um, but we do offer trainings, too, because I don't want people to because one of the worst things I feel like is if you go out and you're like, I'm really excited about this and you get your box of fold scopes and then you're sitting there like, I don't know what to do with it now. Yeah. Um, so we really are a family that is there to support and guide and help out throughout the entire journey. We're not just like you were saying, we're not just there to sell and then walk away. Yeah, it really is. We want you to be part of the Foldscope community. So yeah, we do. We do a lot of that and following up and all that. And just to echo that, I know that is true, friends. Holly Stewart is somebody in our network who I keep very, very close in my circle. Holly is somebody who, right or wrong, I don't think she asked for this role in my life, but right or wrong, I go to Holly when I don't, when I need something done, I don't know how to do it and I need someone to do it quickly. He's my girl. I walked up to a Teach Better conference in 2022 with this like everything at Teach Better 2022 was labeled to the T with like pictures of where signage went, everything. I literally handed her a stack of, of papers and was like, these are the only papers that exist in the entire building that aren't labeled. Can you figure out what happens with these? <laughs> <laughs> Holly is the problem solving queen. She's the most accessible, easy to talk to people. And she is not only doing all this work with Foldscope, but she is a leader in our ambassador program as a mentor to so many educators. She is always somebody to answer a DM and just be a really, really wonderful person. So I just want to celebrate that and celebrate the fact that Foldscope just did a big donation for our 12 hour live that was rec that was earlier this week. So just all good things with Fold Scope's incredible work and with Holly just being the best human ever. Friends, we should go connect with her. <laughs> wow, my, my ego is just like... <laughs> yes. You know what, girl? It should be up there. You're that amazing. No doubt. Anytime you need a boost and you call me up, of all people, I'm happy to, to wave the Holly Stewart flag. Holly, thanks so much for coming live with us this morning. I really appreciate it. Yes, thank you. This was a great way to start the day. So good. For everyone else, we hope you have an incredible rest of your Thursday. Please let us know if you need anything. And if you have any issues connecting with Holly or Foldscope, just direct message me. I'm happy to send you a direct link to help you in any way, shape, or form. Have a good day. See you later. 
Hey, Teach Better community. Thank you so much for joining the Teach Better Today morning show every single weekday at 7 a.m. Eastern. We have so many resources for you outside of this live stream at teachbetter.com, including blogs, podcasts, and professional development that will bring our team to your school. Wherever you are listening from this morning, please make sure you are sharing and celebrating the incredible educators in this world. And hey, if you are listening over on a podcast to Teach Better Talk, we would love a five-star review. (laughs) The comments are always so entertaining. (laughs) We'll see you tomorrow. 